the Russian hackers, I think, can be divided into uh, two um, two groups. We we have the Russian state hackers, and then we have Russian people who just happen to be Russian citizens that happen to be good hackers. Uh, as to why they're so good, I'm not sure. Uh, but the Russian hackers are among the best in the world. There's no question. Uh, the the type of hackers that um, that we know are Russian are the um, uh, the Russian non-state hacking organizations um, that do things like ransomware, uh, which is a very it's a serious problem here in America, and I understand in, in Japan it's even a worse problem because the Japanese always pay uh, the ransom to to get their data back. Uh, of, of more interest to me, I think, are the Russian state hackers, uh, part of uh, the the Russian. Uh, uh, intelligence services, and you would expect them to have hackers. Uh, the CIA, uh, there was a WikiLeaks uh, just last week that showed that the CIA is has an extraordinarily sophisticated hacking organization um, uh, that's used to gain intelligence. Um, so uh, I, the, the U.S. media claims that it's the state organization, that Russia itself uh, is trying to undermine uh, the United States by hacking the DNC, by hacking Yahoo. Uh, this is all nonsense. It's extremely difficult for a sophisticated hacker uh, to be found. Uh, we only find the young kids. If you look at the news, the uh, at least here in America, the only people who are arrested uh, are 15 and 16 year olds that are very unsophisticated and do not know how to hide their tracks. Uh, but I can assure you that the Russian state did not hack the DNC and did not hack Russia. I mean, did not hack Yahoo. Um, uh, those hacks uh, were too blatantly uh, pointing to Russia. Uh, now, like our CIA last week and all the leaks that came out said, it is trivial to hide your tracks and also trivial to make it look like someone else. So the people here in America that are claiming that it's Russia, I think, are they're either uh, very unsophisticated uh, or they are politically motivated. One of the two. And I, I do not know which. Uh, but I can assure you the Russian state was not involved in the DNC hack because, among other things, the program used um, was a year and a half old and had been updated many times. So if the Russian state were going to do a hack, they wouldn't choose to use a very old program. They would not leave traces of the Russian language in the program and all the other things that point to Russia. That's utter nonsense. Uh, the Russian uh, state hacking organizations are at least as sophisticated as our CIA, if not more so. Is, as, as, as you certainly understand, is way more complex um, than Facebook controlling the world or Google controlling the world. Um, you know, the American citizens are not stupid. I mean, no citizen is stupid of any country. Uh, it's only the politicians that think we are. Um, and, and we can smell uh, falsehoods. We can smell lies uh, when we see them. Um, and um, so... We all know that Facebook is, half of Facebook is all fake news. We go to Facebook because it's entertaining to read fake news, but we all know it's fake. Um, so I don't think any one organization has that power. However, I think the hackers have tremendous power uh, in, in the capability to destroy the entire world society. Uh, with software, with weaponized software, um, uh, hackers are capable, certainly nation state hackers are capable of destroying the electrical infrastructure of another nation. It's very simple. Uh, here in America and, and actually in, in much of Russia as well, uh, the electrical grid is 25 or 30 years old, being controlled by computers that are 25 years old, being controlled by software that was written before the word cybersecurity was even in existence. So uh, destroying an electrical grid would be, would be trivial for, for a very clever hacker or a group of hackers. It, it would take certainly more than one. It would take a nation state or a very large hacking um, organization. Um, but, but these weaponized pieces of software are in the hands of, of, of every nation. Uh, and this disturbs me. 
Um, you know, I think that the leaders of, of Russia, of China, of the United States are wise enough uh, not to push that button, not to, not to attack another nation, uh, to destroy their electrical grid, because ours would be destroyed in return. And we have no protection against it. This is the other thing people do not understand. We have no protection against hacking. Our antivirus software is completely useless against modern day hacking talents. That uh, uh, hundreds of millions of people look at is a powerful tool. Uh, it's just like media, you know, CNN, Fox News. Uh, it's powerful because when people get onto Fox News or CNN, they can say what they have to say to, to tens or hundreds of millions of people. And the same thing on Facebook. Um, but, but it's not the only tool. And, and, and again, we have to use our own judgment. I mean, we, we, here in America, we are discussing now uh, whether uh, um, comrades of Donald Trump had visited Putin. Well, well who cares? Uh, Putin is a world leader. Uh, Donald Trump is a world leader. Obviously, if we're going to have a harmonious world, uh, all, all leaders should be talking to each other all the time. I mean, it's insane to say that, oh, there's a conspiracy because uh, someone's been talking to Putin. I mean, you know, Putin is becoming very powerful. We all know that, you know, possibly I've, I've read in numerous articles, possibly the most powerful man in the world. Well, well, if he is, should we not all be talking to him? I mean, seriously.